Oh, today we're going to look at something with a massive Sony sensor. Well, not, not that massive, but it still is pretty big for a webcam. This right here is the Dell Ultra Sharp webcam. Yeah, that's it. And it looks awesome. It features a Sony DSLR sensor, which even though like, you know, it's, it's not gonna be like this compared to any other webcam. I'm pretty sure it's gonna blow it out of the water. So looking at the back here, it says we have a one over 2.8 inch large sensor, which is a difficult way to say that. Also 0.35 of an inch and nine millimeters. Much prefer either of those ways to say it. Oh, magnets in the box, that's fancy. I guess it is a $200 webcam, so you can't expect things to be fancy. It's just a, like a little tube. We have a USB-C to type A cable. We also have, looks like a little stand with a quarter 20 thread on the bottom. This one here that you would attach to like the top of your monitor. That's kind of your standard webcam mount. A little quick start guide. Yeah, plug it in, attach it to your monitor, good to go. Wow, that is pretty big for a webcam. That's a pretty fine looking piece of glass there. They do have a multi-element design. So on a multi-element design, let's kind of look at this. You can have the problem that when the light hits the sensor, if it doesn't hit it perpendicular, it looks bad because the colors can change. So multi-element is trying to get all of the light that's going in to hit the sensor as perpendicular as possible. Here we have a couple of cool other things. So they have a little proximity sensor. I don't know if you can quite see that in there. It's dark. And I don't know which one's which, but there's a proximity sensor and Windows Hello Facial Recognition. So in some laptops like the XPS 15, you would have a combination IR and normal camera sensor in there. And that can cause problems where the IR sensor makes things look purpley and weird colored. So that's why they have basically two webcams in one, but one of them only does the IR detection. The big selling point on this thing though is the large sensor. So Dell says that it's from a Sony DSLR camera. So right here we have, you know, a full frame sensor. This right here is, this is a beautiful thing. Yeah, 35 millimeters across. The one in here would be about nine millimeters. And basically the more bigger, the better. The larger the pixel, the more light that can hit it, the better your image, the better your low light performance. One thing that is similar between these two is that it has back illuminated technology. So basically in a normal sensor, you have you know the light that comes in and there's a metal wiring in front of it that delivers like electricity and stuff to your pixels and allows it to read data and so on. And then your photodiodes are below that. Whereas in this and this guy here, you have the photodiodes on top and the metal wiring below it. So you don't potentially have, you know, your little light rays coming in, bouncing off of that metal wiring and not giving you a picture. Because of that, you also receive more light, which can increase your low light performance. Oh, the magnet's directional. So it only goes in one way. Oh, it's pretty strong too. I like that it is a directional magnet because it would be pretty easy to accidentally put this on backwards set it up and then you go to turn it on you're like i do really like this lens cap though it's just magnetic actually before we plug this in let's just get a baseline of what the famously bad webcam on this xps 15 looks like a webcam that looks like this on a two thousand dollar laptop in fairness i do understand why they did this it has to go into a super small space you can't put a big sensor and a small bezel but you know it still has a bit annoying this thing does feel it just feels really good I believe all of the outside is aluminum. It looks premium. Oh, that's cool. Thing just boots right up. Select a preset that suits your style and how you want to appear on camera. Default, smooth. Yeah, beauty filter, <laughs> vibrant. We'll just go with default and continue. High dynamic range, why wouldn't I want that? Proximity sensor, walk away lock, wake on approach. Sure, that's quite the setup. <laughs> this is definitely designed to be used on desktops. <laughs> Private internet access is a VPN that allows you to access services and websites as if you're in a different country. It encrypts all of your internet traffic and uses a safe protected IP. Connect up to 10 devices at once with clients for Windows, Mac OS, Android, iOS, and Linux. Buy a one-year plan for $39.95 at the link in the video description. So let's see, we have AI auto framing. So I guess if I move around, does it? Oh, it does. That's kind of cool. Oh, I have like weird distortion over here now. So I guess that it's a wide lens. It's currently on 90 degrees and the other ones are digital zooms. 
So you do definitely want to stay kind of in the center, but it does a pretty good job of following me around. Hello, camera. Can you get me? So you can change your field of view. It's a fixed lens, so you're just digitally zooming, but it does do a pretty good job. I am really impressed with how it's able to manage the scene. So you've kind of got like, that's a light that's really bright. You've also got a lot of dark. This wall back here, all of this is really challenging, but it's doing a really great job of just exposing for my face instead of exposing for just random things that it picks up in the background. That can be a real problem on, well, any camera, but laptop webcams in particular. The zoom, it's just a digital zoom. It doesn't look fantastic. This is feels kind of weird now. Now the priority, it says exposure or frame rate. Why would you have to choose between those? I'm guessing that they're changing the shutter speed in order to give you more exposure in low light situations. Can we turn the lights down here? So it just got a lot darker, exposure's coming up. This is a really challenging situation for a webcam, but also one that you'll end up in a lot. So this is kind of the classic, you're sitting in front of a window, you're really dark, and everything else behind you is really light. It's doing an okay job at this, but in fairness, this is a really tough situation. I don't even know how it looks on that. Probably fine. Let's see what happens if I change it to frame rate priority. So I'm doing this on frame rate priority, and then we go to exposure priority, and huh. It's kind of hard to tell, but I do think that it is making a difference. It seems way more jello-y. The exposure on this is really good. Like the way that it automatically just changes. Take a look at this. So I'm moving the white balance. That's too blue. This is really hard to do. All right, well, auto white balance, leave that on. That's my conclusion from that. That said, Dell, it would be really nice if you had numbers in there. Pretty please, that would be a great update. So sharpness. So I guess on a normal day, you might want to turn that up a bit so that you look nice and crisp. But then if you're having kind of a bad day, you take it over to the left. So if you have like a pimple, you can't quite see it. <laughs> this is all pretty standard camera stuff, but it's fun to play with it. So let's compare these. This is a very practical camera to have as your webcam. I'm going to talk into it here. It's um, a bit heavy. So bit out of most people's budgets when it comes to webcams for sure, but it can deliver just I imagine stunning video quality if I'm able to hold it. <laughs> the resolution was in full in HD. You didn't even use like 4K. What? Dang it. I can't believe that. See, this is why you have camera operators. Frame rate seems way lower now. I am like a jello -y mess. That must be why they were doing that. They were both set to 30, I believe. So this right here is 4K, the best that this camera can give you. Now, looking at it, especially like the sharpness and such. It seems really good. I am impressed. We just recorded the whole video in 1080p, damn it. So yeah, thanks for watching guys. Um, hey, you know, this, the 1080p is good, you know, the 4K one's even better. Yeah, if the 1080p is good, the 4K is even better. Um, this is an exceptional webcam, I do have to say. 200 bucks? This seems pretty compelling if you need it. So anyway, yeah. This is the Dell UltraSharp webcam WB7022. I think it's a wicked little piece of tech. I hope you guys have a great day. Hit like, get subscribed. Um, so long.